Yo, welcome back to another guide video. This time we got Eula, the newest five-star physical damage character. Now, she's been quite controversial lately, not just because of the background of slavery. I don't care. She's a waifu. And also because she's physical damage, lots of people think she's not going to be as good as pyro DPS or hydro or cryo DPS. But as you have probably seen, other content creators have already done it. 5 million damage or 4 million damage. It is crack. She is super strong. Strong. she is the biggest burst damage dealer in the game right now is she as good as ganyu i think ganyu is still the best five star character in the game she doesn't need any help she doesn't need proper team comp you just left click everything dies but for eula you need a team comp proper handling and management of her elemental skill and her elemental burst proper timing so we're gonna cover all of that let's start with her kit you've all seen the normal attack sequence very very sexy so when you do her elemental skill you do e crush you get that sword marker on top of your head. That means you get one stack of Grim Heart. If you do it another time, Shutter. you get a cross swords on top of her head and her cape glows. See? That means you have two stacks of Grim Heart. Now, if you have two stacks of Grim Heart, you go hold E. Rack and ruin. And it consumes two stacks of Grimheart, and you get additional damage as you see there. Also, you reduce bio and physical resistance. So again, E, E, hold E is the way to go. Her burst is quite different from other characters. It doesn't immediately do the damage. So you do your burst. Will be mine. And then for seven seconds, you can stack the damage by doing normal attacks and your skills. And then it will explode after seven seconds. Boom. So when you're waiting for that burst, you want to do as many normal attacks as you can and as many elemental skills. Do take note that when you cast her burst she gets one stack of grim heart and then it also resets the cooldown of her elemental skill the best optimal rotation for her skill and burst is e e hold e q e hold e and then do normal attacks in between the cooldowns but in a practical scenario you would probably do e q hold e and then do a lots of normal attacks i do want to say that she does struggle with energy recharge because her burst takes 80 energy cost so you need some energy recharge on the substats of your crits or you can adjust your team comp in such a way that it gives you lots of energy we will talk about team comps in a bit so in general this is what you want to do you go e a bunch of normal attacks dodge that and then e and then hold e and then burst blood of frost and then e and then normal attacks and it takes a while and then hold e and then normal attacks and that is the optimum combo for eula now like i said it's only good on paper many stuff happens during a fight you gotta dodge you gotta heal up you gotta switch characters it's not practical so that's why i say just do e q hold e if you don't have your burst left click and press e all at the same time as much as you can <laughs> For her artifacts, the only set you should ever aim for is the four-piece Pale Flame. There is no reason to use any other artifact set. Although I am using a two-piece Pale Flame and two-piece Bloodstain, this is because I don't have yet a good four-piece set for Pale Flame. This is what you can do as well if you don't have yet a good four-piece Pale Flame set. But eventually, you want to go for that Pale Flame. You don't want to do Gladiators because Gladiators does not affect her elemental skill and her elemental burst. You don't want to use Noblesse because Pale Flame is just better. It's 25% of the physical part and Noblesse is only 20%. But it does affect both cryo and physical aspect of her burst still the physical part is so much bigger that you want to focus on the physical part for her weapons the song of broken pines is one of the best skyward pride also one of the best wolf's gravestone also one of the best and the unforged if you're looking to do the biggest burst damage possible you will either go for the wolf's gravestone the unforged or the song of broken pines because all those increase your burst damage in different ways wolf's gravestone and the unforged because of their high attack and song of broken pines because it gives attack speed and that way you can stack more normal attacks when you are trying to stack her burst for general gameplay and consistent damage as with any other physical dps skyward pride is still my most recommended one because the passive damage of skyward pride is affected by physical damage bonus and then you also have energy recharge which helps with the charging of the burst this is great for eula because 80 energy is really hard to come by so that you can get your burst as much as possible i recommend skyward pride in many cases especially if you're doing hard content where there are long drawn out fights like spiral abyss or events like the twisted realm for four stars you could go with archaic black cliff or snow tomb star silver now between archaic and snow tomb star silver prototype archaic is almost always better than snow tomb star silver because snow tomb star silver is conditional while prototype archaic just do everything you're supposed to be doing and you will get additional damage then you can go for black cliff if you want to get more crit damage and your ratio is not one is to two it's not 
chef's kiss you can go with black serpent spine is also good just make sure you have a shielder on your team please don't use the bell <laughs> I think Sacrificial might be a good option if you really want that burst damage all the time or even Favonius. Now, I do have a C4 Eula. Yes, I'm a whale. But when you get Eula, you don't really need any of the constellations. Her constellations give her so much more damage. Insane upgrades. If you want to get a constellation, C1 is already bang for your buck because C1 gives her two stacks of this, which means she can get up to 60% physical damage bonus all the time. C2 is all right. It makes it so that your hold E cooldown is the same as your press e cooldown so from 10 seconds it becomes four seconds it's not a big deal this one increases the burst level by three so of course more burst damage c4 lightfall swords deal 25 percent increased damage opponents with less than 50 percent hp this affects both the burst lightfall sword and the elemental skill lightfall sword the elemental skill produces a lightfall sword if you have two stacks of grimheart and you hold it down it will consume the two stacks and it will create a lightfall sword that will also explode for more physical damage c5 increases the level of her skill and then c6 I hope someday we can get it. Take note that the maximum possible stack you can get on Eula's Burst is 30 stacks. Now, is it possible to get that? I'm not sure. Probably not unless you have some buffs from Chongyun attack speed and Jean C2 attack speed. It's virtually impossible to reach the 30 cap. But with this C6, you get 5 stacks immediately. And every single damage you do with Eula will have a 50% more chance to gain additional stacks. So it becomes much easier to stack that damage on a Burst. And it's just absurd damage. At C4, I already did 7. 752k damage on the Primo Geo Bishop. That's with four star supports. How much more with C6? And maybe if you're using Song of Broken Pines, it's absurd and you don't need it. C0 Eula, C1, absolutely fine. There's no monster in the game that you need 4 million damage to kill. All right. Four talents, we currently have crowned our uh, burst, but I would suggest you prioritize normal attack because her burst you rarely get to see it happen <laughs> 20 second cooldown energy cost is 80 and everything dies before it explodes if you're out in the open world if you're doing harder content like abyss yeah sure but you'll be doing normal attacks most of the time because she is a selfish dps you have to keep her on the field especially when you're trying to stack her burst also take note that the grim heart stacks last for 18 seconds and it does not disappear even if you switch Eula out. So you can stack one Grim Heart, drop all the skills of your sub DPSs, go back to Eula, use another elemental skill to get two stacks of Grim Heart, and then just do the proper rotations. I recommend you prioritize normal attacks, then burst, and then elemental skill. Now she's one of those characters where you want to upgrade all skills because even her elemental skill gives this really nice physical resistance decrease and cry resistance decrease every level. So you still want to get this as high as you can, but this will be your last priority. All right, for team comps of course uh jean venti if you want to be op but i'd like to talk about four star characters my personal favorite team comp is the singcho beidou official combo singcho with eula for the freeze locking down enemies beidou official double electro resonance gives lots and lots of energy particles so that gives her more chances to do her burst and also since you have electro you can do superconduct with eula it reduces physical resistance of enemies you can also go with a double pyro like bennett and any other pyro and then just add official for superconduct and that way you just straight up do more damage without having to think too much about it you could go with bennett shangling and fischl just make sure you have an electro character for that nice superconduct you can also use rosaria if you have c6 she's also a really nice addition if for example you're looking for cryo resonance and you somehow have a c6 rosaria then you have that nice physical resistance decrease from her burst you can also go with a diona support so that you have cryo resonance for more crit rate and you also got a shield and healing from diona if you're not looking to do cryo resonance you can also use shinyan as a support character because shinyan does give 15 percent physical damage increase from her shield however it's not really recommended to rely on shinyan for the 15 percent physical damage bonus because that shield is paper thin it will get broken very easily and the cooldown is 18 seconds so that's not recommended in my opinion you would benefit more from just using any other sub dps So if 
if you want to check out the Eula gameplay, go drop by my stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We stream on fb.gg slash xnotgaming. And do join our Discord of 6,000 members. We got a hangout there. We got all the character builds in there. We got teapot channel if you're looking to trade with other people. See you there and see you on the next video. I want to go this way. Ah! Shut up. Oh, dang it. <laughs> it flipped on me.